this area and I continue to be rather shocked at what is felt would be appropriate for Portishead. And I obviously have prepared my notes, but there are other things I will want to add in. But one of the thir first things I want to say is that we believe that Old Mill Road should be one of the safeguarded employment sites and that by not allocating it this status, North Somerset Council's plan is not sound. They themselves have said this morning that its use should be protected within the plan itself, and yet have still not given it safeguarded status. As Ms. Greaves has, Cleaves, sorry, Ms. Cleaves has said, there are around 300 jobs. All the units are occupied and thriving, and providing an area of mixed use in terms of retail, service and light industry, which is in short, short supply in Portishead. It's already been said, our town is constrained by water. We have the estuary, we have the river, we have Rhines, and we have the Green Belt. To our knowledge, there is nowhere within Portishead for these businesses to be relocated, even temporarily while redevelopment work took place, which means that we have the potential of losing these jobs. People do walk and cycle there. That alleviates the pressure on our roads, which has been mentioned, we have a lot of problems with. We've also had this morning Mr Gregory, I assume it's Mr Gregory because that's what the label says, um, talking about high level employment, highly skilled jobs that we have in Portishead. We have Viper Subsea, we have Agas, we have a lot of those sorts of jobs. And we do need a whole range of jobs to fulfil the needs of all Portishead residents. And I believe currently that Old Mill Road does do that. There are highly trained and highly skilled people who work at T&G, for example, on Old Mill Road. All of those things need to be taken into account. Mr Hewlett has said that there's a decline in land available for employment use within Portishead. Why lose something that is already thriving? Mr Walker has said, and this has come as a bit of a surprise to myself, perhaps it shouldn't, talking about another conversion on Old Gordano Gate to residential, again for, shall we call it, older living residential or assisted living, or shall we call it retirement, not quite sure. But again, we have had a lot of that already occur, and I said that earlier, that we have lost employment land to various developments, one of which is going to provide, I think it's um, 118 assisted living apartments on Harbour Road, between Harbour Road and Newfoundland. Uh, well, we won't, we won't mention the same company, perhaps. Um, so looking at the criteria for assessing whether a plan, is a plan is unsound or not, looking at A, in our view, it's not been positively prepared in this instance as it fails to take account of all housing developments in our town. Now we fully appreciate that North Somerset is under considerable pressure from the government to provide more dwellings. I've already said that Portishead has provided a great deal of dwellings over the past 15 years. However, in their plan, it seems to us that there are a number of small developments that are not being accounted for. And we have calculated, and given the latest information this morning, the potential for 201 additional dwellings in Portishead. Now, it may be proven that I'm not correct in that, but going on the information we had, that was the conclusion we came to. Is this the most appropriate strategy to provide more dwellings in the town when we already have provided a lot and are still providing a lot? Is it effective to lose 300 or more livelihoods with a dramatic impact on the economy of the town in order to provide more dwellings? We've already heard that the infrastructure for Portishead 
is not keeping pace, has not kept pace and continues to not keep pace with what is going on in terms of housing development, residential development, the number of children that we have in the town. It also appears to us that some sites within the plan have been double counted. Again, I'm quite happy for anyone to correct me on this, but when I look through the plan, at the bottom of page 62 of Schedule 3, it states Kestrel Court, Portishead Keys, Harbour Road, Outline Commission for MDEV, Employment Development, at 7 Paper Mill, whilst on page 50 of Schedule 1, it states southwest of 7 Paper Mill, 70 dwellings previously an allocated employment site. There are other similar contradictions within the plan, for example, the location of the railway station. We understand that from a commercial point of view, Standard Life want to maximise the return on their investment, but you have to balance that with the needs of the town and how Portishead should be developing for the future, how it continues to thrive, how it continues to be economically viable. Personally, and I'm speaking personally here, I don't see anything wrong with the buildings or existing environment on Old Mill Road. It's certainly not, as some people uh, use this phrase, a blot on the landscape or a carbuncle in one infamous case. So why cause untold harm by redeveloping it? When it's already very successful, it provides work for people in the town over many, many years and can continue to do so in the future. I think I've probably said enough.